dozens are dead and several more are hurt in New Zealand in what the country's prime minister says can only be described as a terrorist attack. The victims unsuspecting, getting together as many likely did every week for Friday prayers at two mosques. Their slaughter live streamed online by the main suspect now charged with murder in what appears to be a carefully planned racist, anti-immigrant, Islamophobic attack. The shootings targeting two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand's third largest city. You don't think something like this could happen in New Zealand? Well, in Christchurch of all places, we're such a small community. We're so kind and loving, so I just don't understand why someone would hurt us like this in, in such a way. The massacre, now the country's worst ever mass killing. You may have chosen us, but we utterly reject and condemn you. New Zealand's Prime Minister sending a clear message to anyone who was behind the attack. We are not a place where violent extremism exists. We reject those notions and we must continue to reject them. The main suspect identified himself as Brenton Tarrant, a 28-year-old Australian, during a 17-minute live stream Facebook video from a head-mounted camera. City News has decided not to broadcast or distribute the disturbing video posted to social media due to its graphic nature. The footage purportedly shows shots being fired indiscriminately at men, women and children from close range. New Zealand police asking the public not to share the video. It's very disturbing. It shouldn't be in the public domain and we're doing everything we can uh, to remove it. Social media sites are scrambling to stop the spread of the footage Facebook and Twitter say they'll take down content showing the attack, along with any praise or support for the crime. YouTube says we are working vigilantly to remove any violent footage. But still, there's criticism that social media platforms are not doing enough to crack down on offensive content. Before the bloodshed, the suspected gunman published a more than 70-page manifesto that denounced immigrants as invaders. In it, he describes himself as a regular white man from a regular family who, quote, decided to take a stand to ensure a future for my people. And explaining he was inspired by Norway mass killer Anders Breivik. The Australian-born suspect was arrested and charged with murder. Two other suspects were being held in custody. Police say they're trying to determine how they may be involved. Those in custody were not on security watch lists. Police have recovered firearms and explosive devices. On some weapons, the names of violent extremists appear to be scrawled. Among the names, Alexandre Bissonnette, the Canadian man convicted in the mass shooting at a Quebec City mosque two years ago, killing six people. Reacting to the attack in New Zealand, Minister of Public Safety Ralph Goodale tweeted, at this time, there is no known nexus to Canada, and Canada's threat level remains unchanged at medium. Media means that a violent act of terrorism could occur. It's been at this level since October 2014. Security is being stepped up at mosques around the world. This the scene in New York City today. At mosques here in Canada, security is also being ramped up. I want to share an image with you that is going viral, along with the hashtag, Hello Brother. Words used by a man who greeted the gunman at the door of one of the mosques, saying, Hello Brother before he was killed.